Hey guys, it's Maggie's Movies, and I know what you're thinking. It's dark in the room. Yes, I know. Um, but I promised two videos this week. I did. I promised that. It was my idea. And it's midterm season, so really good planning and thinking on that one. But anyways, so what this video is going to be about, I'm going to be reading my Why Tulane essay and reacting to it now that I'm at Tulane. And from what I remember about my essay, I feel like it was a little bit cheesy, but we're gonna see um, and stick around. Also check out my spooky decorations in the background. Look. Wait, let me, um, let me make them purpley. Here we go! <sighs> in February of 2019, the college search process left me bored, confused, and upset. What a way to start a paper. But I mean true. Um, February of 2020 also left me bored, confused, and upset, so that's funny. From a young age, I immersed myself in my passion, theater and performing. However, more recently, I discovered a newfound calling for teaching. <laughs> scratch that, scratch that. Pulled in two different directions, I had no clear vision for my future in college. That's true. That one's true. My mother, an elementary school teacher, graduated from Tulane, so we decided to tour the school over spring break and experience the city of New Orleans. I felt a wave, haha, <laughs> get it? Roll wave. <laughs> A wave of relief wash over me during uh, wash over me upon touring on the campus. Okay, first paragraph. Pretty strong, although I'm surprised it was so bland to start off with, but I mean I'm here. Okay. Before the main tour, I intended an individual art specific tour. This is me trying to appeal to Tulane's sense of uh what's it called? Demonstrated interest. I'm like, I came, I came, I toured, take me, accept me. My tour guide greeted my family with enthusiasm for both the school as a whole and the arts program there. Upon mentioning my interest in theater, she informed me about the recent performance of Heather's The Musical, the first musical at Tulane to be entirely student run. I'm dropping all these facts. I'm like, I know about Tulane, let me in. Um, I actually don't know if this was a good Why Tulane essay. We'll see. This reminded me of my own high school where a team of students and I led our drama club. <laughs> I'm president, by the way, of Drama Club. She loves just casually dropping stuff like this in the paper. I continued to explore the entire theater and music facilities. Feeling a connection with my tour guide, I explained my predicament about my dual interest in teaching and theater. Now it's history and theater. I don't want to teach as of right now. But anyway, my tour guide relayed that I could and would be encouraged to pursue both my interests while attending Tulane. That's true, it's very easy to double major here. At my general campus tour, I selected a tour guide who participated in improv, majored in business, and performed in Heather's The Musical at Tulane. Fascinated by this possibility of expanding such a large variety of my interests, I further inquired about the majors at Tulane, and my tour guide explained that students at Tulane frequently double major. And triple major, fun fact. Afterwards, I, re I researched I researched and found out that once admitted as a freshman, I could take classes from any of the undergraduate schools at Tulane. I swear that's a sentence like copied straight off the website. Not actually, because I'm not a plagiarist. Plagiar? I don't know. At that point, I had toured four other schools and none of those schools had offered such a helpful and realistic solution to my predicament. Okay. Besides a familiar theater environment and a major system that catered to my specific needs, the city of life around the school is unparalleled. True. Exploring the city where my mom came out of her shell was an experience I will never forget. Mommy, I miss you. <laughs> On this trip to visit Tulane, I tried my first ever beignet at Cafe Du Monde. On the way to lunch at Port of Call, I marveled at the unique architecture of New Orleans. Our server at Camellia Grill had a New Orleans lilt to his voice and to me, really exemplified the laid-back, friendly atmosphere of the city. I actually really love the way people talk in New Orleans. Ooh, it's so nice. Very pretty. 
Walking down the sidewalk in Jackson Square, I witnessed the rich culture that lives in New Orleans. My dad purchased a painting for the family from a man who had been coming to Jackson Square for 10 years. That's what going to Tulane means to me, being a part of the history of the city and following in my mother's footsteps. That's actually very true. And I think at Tulane, we really put an emphasis on respecting the community around us. So like, for instance, um, with COVID numbers, I know a lot of friends and I are like really upset right now because we're at a higher percentage than the city, or at least we were a few days ago. And for a while we've been lower. So I think like, and obviously not everyone, but a lot of people at Tulane really do respect the city. And I think it's so crazy to just be in such a place that's such a crazy mix of cultures. And it's just so like historic. Like I'm from Atlanta and Atlanta like burned to the ground or something. And so there's like no historic buildings. It's all like business skyscraper type deal. There's like historic Roswell and stuff like that. But the city of Atlanta is not um, as it doesn't really have a lot of buildings from the from the olden days. Um, but New Orleans is like oh it's just so gorgeous and beautiful and like the trees are old and I, I don't know you can just feel like this presence of like people who came before you and it's definitely more personal for me because my mom was here she came she went to school here okay last paragraph those are my thoughts as we strolled in audubon park where my mom ran during her college years did i mention i'm a legacy <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like reading this, I'm like, wow, she was a name dropper. She wanted to get in. Tulane means something to me and to my family. Back at it again. Walking through the city, I could feel the paths of people who came before me, like Louis Armstrong, Truman Capote. I don't even know who that is now. <laughs> what am I talking about? <gasps> That's so awkward. And most importantly, my mom. She's my biggest role model and supporter, and without her, I might not have discovered Tulane University. When the trip came to an end, I knew Tulane was the right school because of my resistance to return home. As we departed from Tulane in New Orleans, I found myself thinking, until we meet again, Tulane. Aww, and now I'm here. But there is a pandemic, and she didn't know that. She didn't know that at all. That's so crazy, because I actually like toured Tulane a year before the pandemic happened, like before COVID. That's so insane to like think about that that was like two years ago. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was like a year and a half. I don't know. I feel like I remember this being a better essay than it was. Um, at Tulane, you definitely need to write the Why Tulane essay if you actually want to get in. It's like technically optional, but you should write it. Um, let me, like, I definitely think the touring aspect of it, like, I toured the school and I got a feel for it, and I was like, yes, this is the school I want to be at, is definitely one of the reasons why I think the other stuff definitely, like, played into it, but it was more like, I know about the school, I've researched the school, I want to go here. It's, like, showing that demonstrated interest. If I think about it now... Um, with Tulane's like COVID response, they've been actually amazing. Like they have done so much to make sure we're on campus and we're safe. So I think that's another why Tulane. I don't know if, if that's going to be a concern next year, but if you're thinking of applying to Tulane, that's one of my reasons why Tulane now. The food here is amazing. The food in the dining hall is way better than I think like any other like big colleges dining hall or anything. It's like actually well seasoned and the meat isn't like dry as a bone and it's not like chicken nuggets frozen and like delivered from i don't know freaking Ar arkansas Ar arkansas i don't know where chicken comes from the food is good okay new orleans duh i mean the everyone says that but also new orleans no i'm definitely really liking tulane and i feel like they um very much care about us so I'm very happy about that. Um, okay, so that's all for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me that you guys watch my videos and I, I read all of your comments and I reply to most of them. And trust me, like I sit on my phone and I refresh and wait to see if anyone's liked it. So if you're watching this, please like it. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and visiting me in my corner of the woods. And for now, this has been 
Maggie's Movies. See you next time.